We're finding that if your goal is to stop sagebrush biome loss and to defend the core, where you do your conservation really matters. Um, when you're doing conservation in these degraded landscapes, it's a lot harder to actually stop sagebrush biome decline and halt that degradation and restore back to core sagebrush areas. So you're a lot less likely to be able to defend the core and grow the core. Whereas if you're treating and doing your conservation in core sagebrush areas and places with high sagebrush ecological integrity that are on the brink of decline, you're between 80 to 90% effective at stopping that degradation and defending the core. Um, right now, most of our conservation is happening in those degraded landscapes. And so we're suggesting that if you start employing better spatial targeting, doing more of your conservation in core sagebrush areas and stopping the decline before it starts, you're gonna get a lot closer to defending the core and halting biome decline. If the conservation community continues with business as usual conservation, we're not going to be able to halt the decline of the sagebrush biome. Even if every acre of conservation that we were doing was perfectly effective, we're still not doing enough to basically mitigate the losses that we're seeing from threats like invasive annual grass and conifer encroachment. But we know that not every acre of conservation is perfectly effective. Those conservation acres that are treated on more degraded landscapes are a lot less likely to be effective and to be able to restore that degradation. Um, and that's where most of our conservation acres are taking place. So we need to start employing better spatial targeting, targeting our conservation in core sagebrush areas where they're a lot more likely to be effective. We know that we're gonna need to do more conservation in general to stop sagebrush biome loss. But if we start employing better spatial targeting and really going after those core sagebrush areas to stop declines before they start, the amount of additional conservation we're gonna to need to do decreases from tenfold to twofold. I want people to know that we're not saying that all hope is lost. Um, I think this research is a bit of a wake-up call to the trajectory of the sagebrush biome, but I also hope that managers and decision makers feel really empowered to see that the changes that we need to make and the conservation shifts that need to happen are within our capacity to do today. Things like better spatial targeting and enhanced coordination, we can do those right now and start shifting the trajectory of the biome. I think this research is important because it's a call to action. We're saying that if we want to stop sagebrush biome decline, we have to start doing things differently. And I think this research shows that pretty clearly. But we also provide a path forward and showcase ways to enhance conservation capacity in the sagebrush biome and really provide a path to actually defending the core and stopping biome loss.